एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए कपल ऑफ प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज एज द एज कैरेक्टर ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइज और बाइटल डिक्रीजेस द बॉन्ड एंगल ऑप्शन ए डिक्रीजेस ऑप्शन बी इंक्रीजेस ऑप्शन सी does not change and option d becomes zero let's explain the problems based on a example like here it's a methane molecule say ethylene and acetylene now methane molecule carbon is sp3 hybridized in ethylene carbon is sp2 hybridized and in acetylene carbon is sp hybridized and we also know the bond angle when carbon is sp3 hybridized this bond angle is 109 degree when it's sp2 hybridized the bond angle is 120 degree when it is sp hybridized the bond angle is 180 degree and we also know that how the ace character is changing with the hybridization like in sp hybridized orbital the ace character is 50% sp2 it is 33.3% and sp3 it is 25% so that means you can make out that as the ace character is decreasing like from sp to sp2 to sp3 the bond angle is also decreasing that means the correct answer is hope you understand the explanation the next question is that the compound 1,2 butyl diene has option a only sp hybridized carbon atoms b only sp2 hybridized carbon atoms option c only sp2 and sp3 hybridized carbon atoms and option d sp sp2 sp3 hybridized carbon atoms now to solve this problem we have to first draw the structure of 1,2 butyl diene so this is the structure of 1,2 butyl diene so here you can see the double bond between 1 and 2 carbon and the double bond between c2 and c3 so now here carbon number 1 is sp2 c2 and c3 is also sp2 hybridized and carbon number 4 that is sp3 hybridized that means 1,2 butyl diene has sp2 and sp3 hybridized carbon atoms so the correct option is option c now this is a third problem find the correct order of increasing acidity so here four options has been given again here we have to explain the question based on the hybridization now for sp the s character is 50% sp2 that is 33.3% and sp3 is character is 25% now more is character makes the molecule more acidic in nature but how so actually more as character means the hybridized orbital is more close to nucleus because is orbital is spherical in shape that's why if more is character mean that particular hybridized orbital is very close to nucleus if that orbital is very close to nucleus so nucleus positive charge has a strong attraction over the electrons which are present on that particular hybridized orbital so that's why the nucleus has pull the electron strongly and thus make the hydrogen of carbon hydrogen bond 
more acidic. That means for SP hybridized, S character is more, 50% S character. That means when a molecule is SP hybridized, the electrons which is present in the SP hybridized orbital, they are strongly pulled by the nucleus. And that's why the hydrogen can easily breaks in presence of some strong base like sodium. Let me take one example. Like if we take acetylene molecule, this carbon is sp. Now, Since this carbon is sp means this hybridized orbital, sp hybridized orbital has more s character. That's why the electrons which is present, which I have denoted as a red color, these two electrons are strongly pulled by the nucleus of carbon. And that's why they are more attracted towards the carbon nucleus. And that's why this hydrogen can live as H plus if we treat this one with a strong base like sodium. And we know that when we react acetylene with sodium, it gives sodium acetylide. But if we use sodium, if you add sodium, it methane or ethylene means sp3 hybridized carbon molecules or sp2 hybridized carbon molecule, no reaction takes place. So that means acidity order depends on the hybridization and the order is sp hybridized is more acidic in nature than sp2 and sp3. So now here the correct order of increasing acidity is that CH triple bond CH, it will be the strongest because it has a two terminal hydrogen. Next is coming to the CH3 C triple bond CH, it has only one hydrogen. Then ethylene, then ethane molecule. Hope you understand the explanation of this question. Last question is, Carbon-carbon bond in acetylene contents, there are four options has been given. So first we have to draw the acetylene molecule. So acetylene, this carbon is sp hybridized. Now if we can explain the structure of acetylene molecule, this carbon is sp hybridized. So now two sp orbital, they overlap and they make a sigma bond. Now, this two carbon has unhybridized p orbital. Let's assume they are py orbital. They also have one electron. They overlap. It's a parallel overlapping, so one pi bond forms. Now, each carbon also having unhybridized p orbital. They are PZ orbital. They also have one unpaired electron. They overlap and they form another pi bond. That means in acetylene molecule between the two carbon atoms, they, it has one sigma bond and two pi bond. Then correct option is option Hope you understand the explanation of all the practice problems. Thank you for watching this video and if you have further queries, you can contact me to this email id chemistry.affinity at gmail.com.